Hey you guys, LH signing in. Happy Friday. So you guys, I'm bringing you what is 100% authentic and can never be manufactured. All right, you guys. Well, I'm in. You guys are in for a wild one of a will of just a whirlpool. Okay. So let's get into it. Okay. So, you guys, let me just first. For foremost and say this, you know, I, I just got to get this off my chest. I love my people. I just love my people. A sector of my people. Now, I belong, uh, I identify wholly, you know, as a black man. Now, Though I am a, I, I'm made up of different things, I acknowledge my multiple different cultures and different uh, races that I make up, um, the, which makes me, but I self-identify wholly as a black man. And it's not easy saying this, but what I, when I say this, I'm saying this out of love, 100% out of love, like you would say to any family member you see walking off the edge of a cliff like you would say to anyone with passion that you even care for or at least give any fucks about i'm i'm just 100 percent, and i'm going to try so much not to uh, cuss because i do believe you can get your point across without cussing however i've been so frustrated and sometimes when I tune into things that's going on into the world, it makes me this way. It makes me crazy. It makes me frustrated with what I'm seeing. This world is not designed to be 100% peaceful. It's never been designed because we know who inhabits this earth, which is evil, demonic creatures. And until de God's day comes, will it be fixed? And hopefully I won't have to do this. But God's day is showing that his day is coming anytime soon. Whether you believe in any type of uh, spirituality, religion, this present world will be have to go through a recycle. It, it will have to come through some type of destruction before it can be made new again and whole again. But until then... Um, what I'm I'm gonna go back to my initial topic of this discussion, which is, you know, what I'm talking about today. I love being black. I love my black people, and I I have to use it. Unfortunately, you know, you are the bulk of this discussion, and you are as equally as guilty as the enemies. And the naysayers and the perpetrators who are causing you harm and causing destruction and your own death and your own lynchings. Now I'm talking about a specific amount of black people who uplift white supremacy. Now it's no different from what I've been saying about the coons, the bed winches, the... Um, Uncle Ruckus, the Auntie Ruckuses, etc. And the ones who willingly like to be in the sunken place. But I'm talking about... Now, the other day, oh my God. I've been meaning to talk about this since I found out. Two weeks ago, I, I heard and I looked, I looked this up. And I also heard these uh, individuals talking about the show. But for this to be successful, it needs to be propped up and supported by the huge masses. And I think if majority of us, if this show were to survive, I don't think the majority of us would support this. Therefore, the show wouldn't be. Now, granted, I don't watch ratchet tv I, I had to stop because my psyche could not deal with with the dysfunction and bullshit and just the buffoonery i see as far as black people acting a damn fool granted i live in atlanta where they have 
that whole Atlanta love and hip hop of bullshit going on. But a lot of that stuff I've seen on TV, I don't see that shit out here. Like I like I see propagated on the TV. So a lot of TV's bullshit. Some of the places they make look too nice. It's almost like a Hollywood set. So I wonder to myself, where the hell are these places? Because I'm looking at the same place and they don't look anything like these places that I'm seeing on the show. So it's interesting. So I'm, I'm, I'm here and I see it for myself. But just always portraying black people's negative uh, always got to be screwing somebody, somebody else's man or woman or a lot of the women, they make the women look horrible. They make them look like stereotypical, um, uh, you know, uh, Jezebel and Sapphires. If you know what a Sapphire is as far as a, a caricature, um, a very, um, you know, um, I guess a uh, promiscuous black female and then I guess the uh, rival the uh, counterpart would be for men would be the black buck the black buck the the fill the plantation buck you know the plantation buck producing all these kids with different slave women so these characters we've seen these played out today and I don't understand a, a lot of us must not know our history, and you should not know you not know your history by now. If if you are those people I'm talking about, it's just stupid and ridiculous. If you taken read any book, pulled up one book, looked up anything about slavery, you would know that a lot of the stuff that's played out today is is similar to what was going on in slavery. So I don't understand. That's another thing, that's one of the things that's your downfall that you, uh, that black, a lot of black people who propagate this stuff, you are the bulk of the problem. And that's going to bring me to my next thing. I literally had this conversation with someone where I said, if you want the truth and you want the facts, all you need to do is research it and this person literally told me that they rather believe what they deem not proven, but just a belief that they believe is true to their thought process instead of investigating and fact checking it and um, looking up facts. Facts is different from a thought process. Facts is proven by reality. Reality is different from a delusion so if I'm if I find myself wrong I'm going to look for knowledge to prove that I am either wrong or right and if I'm wrong I never believe that it's cute to walk around wrong because to me ignorance is in bliss however they like to popularize and show and glamorize that it is popular to be ignorant as fuck when it looks stupid like I said I wasn't gonna do it I cuss sorry but I just don't get stupid shit and stupid shit I'm allergic to so that I cuss because of that oh well that's how God made me anyways uh, you know if you see something in in history and if you're not proven right or wrong about it investigate it and so I just think that, that, that pretty much subs up the bulk of people of by black people today. Because instead of researching something, knowing what has happened in history to your people, and knowing that these things are per portraying themselves again, instead of falling for the okie doke and falling to the same traps our ancestors do, you just want to go the easy route you want to believe whatever you hear out there any source is a source to you to back you up when it's been proven in fact in history books you know that all this stuff they could portray and flip it and 
manipulate news media, manipulate the common the common census, the societal census of people, the population of people. Um, there's a book uh, called How to How to Destroy Black Civilizations. I advise to get that. Also, there's also the Willie Lynch letter. That is the biggest, the biggest proof that what we see today has been played out in history and is playing out today. So I don't understand. Majority of my people, you need to look up the black history, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, you need to look up black history. But you need to look up the Willie Lynch letter because I don't understand that. I don't understand if you are saying like you don't understand what's going on today. This is new. Well, there's a Willie Lynch letter. And I'm pretty sure people have brought the Willie Lynch letter to your attention over and over again. But you choose to be lazy, complacent, whatever. I don't know. Look the shit up. Feed your mentals because they say a brain and the mind and education is the mind is a power is a, is a, a, is a wasteful thing to waste, you know. And I just think, you know, we got to just do better as far as that educate ourselves and learn the ways in which these things have been used against us. Another thing, what I'm getting into the love. So I told you, I don't really do the whole. Uh, ratchet television because it's that it's, once again there's a saying you are what you feed yourself that you are what you feed your mind you are what you feed your body and it's no surprise that when I was watching shit like oh my god it started with uh, Flavor of Love and then no uh, Jerry Springer it was now, maybe I was easily influenced. Now, there's a difference between entertainment. We all know there's a difference between entertainment. People who know better won't reenact these things. But me, young-minded and young myself at the time, I would watch Jerry Springer. And it was no fake. Like, whenever I had problems, I would act out those same things I saw, you know. And the same thing, the Bad Girls Club. All these things where people fight. I majority of the biggest high school there was high school fights. I remember one year because uh, I noticed it, and, and and I'm just drawing correlations to it. I back to this because the Bad Girls Club uh, premiered, and it makes people mad. It makes people act like it makes people. Now I'm saying I'm not saying to those who who are watching it for entertainment and know better and know how to deactivate their minds when they watch stuff like this. But a lot of us have to be very weak minded to reenact these things that we see because I've seen it so much played out just like I see on the reality TV. And I can tell you by fact that it affected me when I was young because I was one of those people where I was more mad and angry because I saw this played out and that's and usually when people only see a lot of this for so much they think that's normal you know, I was watching it's so funny television too sends you messages too like all these things we've I've seen they've had little hidden messages and just um, subliminal messages like I was watching a land before time don't ask me why you guys I'm just up one morning um, my day was uh, just about to start but um was interesting um one of the dinosaurs the father dinosaurs made a comment about how you know um it was the one the uh the the little the big ass one sarah you know if you know the yellow dinosaur the one that's always got the attitude um some would say you know i guess i would be the male version but anyways <laughs> But I'm 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 more of little foot in, in in between. But anyways, I don't know why I'm drawing those correlations. But anyways, you guys, that's the one that's always the one that's talking shit. That's the one that's always like the adversary of little foot. Like you're wrong, and the one that's got the attitude, the bitch of the group, Sarah. Her father, 
was uh, telling another father dinosaur because the father dinosaur was treating his other his children like shit and talking to him like shit with anger and malice and he said something he noticed something in his own um his own treatment of how he treats his daughter and what works and wasn't but one thing that stood out to me was that the fact that he said that you know you can't i had to learn that i could not respond to my daughter with anger because that's all she would ever know and that's all she would ever get was anger she wouldn't that's all she would ever translate and that's true with television when you are so stuck or and, and just in relationships too um you know i've had instances in my childhood where my parents just they only responded in anger and that taught me to be anger my whole life it taught me to be kind of like a just a mean asshole like i was in fights a lot mind you i have a, a temper but it's under control because yes i found god and i and you know Sometimes people need to mature and it takes maturity and it takes people time to realize these things. But yeah, I'm a hothead and I have had a hothead, but it didn't help because being that I had a father who was a hothead and his way of showing discipline was by always being a fucking asshole all the time, usually. And I don't mean to say that like I love my dad now, but you know, I have to be honest, he was an asshole like we still say he has a, a trip you know like he but he's getting a lot better but sometimes we have to tell him you know listen you are you're blowing up again and you need to calm the hell down you know but um that's my point those things when you feed yourself those things you become those things that you see and and black people seem to think that that doesn't equate to the present of what we're seeing because I've seen a lot of this stuff played out. You know, it's no different when you see children. I had a, my little sister was going like this because we had stuff like that where we were seeing people going like this. People are easily, can be easily influenced. And I feel like my people are easily influenced and have gone with the okie doke where accepting trash and perpetrating it in real life like that's normal. It's not. And... I I saw a show, and this is the show I'm talking about. They are actually bringing the real thoughts of, of South Carolina, North Carolina, whatever, whichever one. I'm sorry, the real side chicks. It should be the real thoughts of South Carolina or North Carolina, whatever it is. But they actually have a show. If you know the Real Housewives... Real Housewives of Atlanta, New Jersey, all that. All where these women just act crazy. They throw drinks and shit. I don't get that. But anyways, they're bringing a show where it's called The Real Side Chicks of South Carolina. North Carolina, whatever the fuck it is. The point is, they have a show about side chicks now that they're bringing to the TV. Like, are you kidding me? Now, I knew... I said this a long time ago. I said, now they have they have these real housewives, but these women, a lot of these women aren't even married anymore, so why are they calling it that? And a lot of these women weren't even married to begin with. But I said, the way that I see television, the love and hip hop where they're glamorizing people sleeping, they're in relationships, sleeping with the, like, having side chicks side dudes or whatever just just no type of i mean if you want to be a freak that's you if you want to be a polygamist that's you but i listen i i have to think about my future i have to think about my offspring i have to think about my sister i gotta think about any young person after me that shit is unacceptable and that shit is being saturated on television and why is it always so much there the 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 purpose and the subjects of this shit is black people you don't see any other race more propagated with this bullshit than black people 
If you do, please leave a please leave a comment in the section of all these shows. I'll be besides uh sixteen and pregnant or whatever these white girls getting pregnant and stuff and not even being married whatever, and they are on MTV. Name me some more shows besides Love and Hip Hop. Uh, what's that other shit? They got a uh, Black Ink Crew, um, Empire. Uh, I mean, uh, Blackish. Um, need I go on? Need I go on? There's name name some shows for me where they show. I mean, they have white shows where they show their asses. They have the whole series with the housewives, but you don't see any more people being propagated like this than that. And my thing is, we all have responsibility for how this shit is pr propagated against us. We're being shot and killed every day. I just, there was a story, uh, they I just identified the man that was just brutally severed, his head was severed and found in, on a porch in Mississippi. This shit is still going on. That's a lynching. They literally have people in the South. It's still going on in the South like it played out in history. They still have people, public lynchings going on. They're, you're being shot and killed. They have people, bodies being found. Black people are still being killed, not getting any justice. I believe they, they let out Philandra Castell's killer off. And you know, you see this every day. They're letting people get away with killing black people. They're not, there's no type of justice. And what are black people doing? What are the majority doing? You're going out boycotting, not even boycotting the right way. You're going out protesting with picket signs. You're not withstanding your money. You expect to lay with known white supremacists Swirl with white supremacists. I'm not talking about being in interracial relationships with people who actually do something for you, who actually will go and 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 fight for your rights and say this is not right. But you're sleeping with people who won't who don't say shit about what you're going through. They just lay with you, and then when you question upon them, they want to say, "Well, you're being divisive and not all." Not all my, my people, because they're just getting free pussy, free black dick. I'm going to be honest with you. I will never lay with anybody from another race who does not advocate for me. And I'm just being honest. I'm not laying with anybody, being in a relationship with anybody who does not speak up uh, for my people or for what or in, injustices. Like, let's just be honest. Half half of people who are into relational uh, in interrelational relationships can't even speak up in the presence of their other significant other who isn't black without getting some type of uh, gall and negativity back for even speaking up against something that everybody should be speaking up against. Another thing too. Um, I just heard, uh, there's a story just being blown up about that whole, uh, bachelorette thing, how now there's a, the black man, there's a black man being accused of, I guess, being, uh, taking advantage of a drunk, a drunk white woman, sexually advantage of a drunk white woman, when in fact multiple, um, multiple statements said that she they were both drunk and that she was fine and nothing happened so if anything if you know the history of lynchings of black men caused by white women need i say more need i say more and it's always a black person it's like get out all over again so that's my thing black people when will you learn not to fall into these stupid fucking traps. Because listen, let's be honest. Black people are looking like jackasses and damn fools. You are the jokes of the world. 
you are the joke you are looking like the jokes of the world not only are you not on code like other people you don't even value your own self your own pride your own self-esteem and your whole image or your own people because yes you know there are killings of every race and I, I don't believe in that whole shit there's more black on black crime there's actually more uh white on white crime and other crime than black on black but yeah you do have black people killing other black people and they'll kill more they'll kill other black people before they kill a racist white person that's for damn sure anybody else you don't you show you don't value yourself you show you are the fucking asshole the bitches the hoes all that to white people or other people because you don't even show that you value yourselves or your people, your own image. This bullshit that I'm seeing on TV, this bullshit that I'm hearing, this bullshit that's in the culture, the bullshit about the disrespecting women, men disrespecting the men, not valuing your own children, raising them up, not setting up economic advantages or caring or, or making things harder for other black people. You, you guys are fucking sick and listen until you fucking change that mindset best believe a lot of it was pushed on you because of past um past things that were brought to you by other people past injustices yes we are products of slavery but we're also strong people because best believe we would not be here if it wasn't for our ancestors so you think you're you're putting up you're giving any type of, of of legacy, you're making any of your ancestors proud. This shit makes me mad. Seeing how black people are just propagating your own demise. You're propagating a negative image bullshit. You just say, oh, I hope this gets just... No, you need to be on fucking code. Defend yourself. Listen, I'm not. I'm not going to return evilness and and bigotry and and injustice with niceties you forgive too much too I've, I've i don't know how many times i've seen on tv and news conferences they always find the black people of a slain innocent black person to say they forgive stop always forgiving god said vengeance is mine and forgiveness they need to ask for they didn't ask you for your forgiveness obviously they didn't ask you forgiveness but you're giving forgiveness away like it's nothing you have coons like steve harvey making dumbass jokes about people who don't have clean water who don't have a way to new uh 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 um uh, Give their self life and nutrients and, and water is the source of everything. So you're, in a sense, you're demeaning your own humanity, making a joke about people who need, fuck you. You aren't a human. And I hope God gets rid of y'all soon. I hope, I hope God gets rid of all you evil bats. Everyone, I don't care what race you are, if you're an evil person like that, you are all these people I'm mentioning. You you want to see people in dire situations where they they can't even survive. They can't even famish themselves. They're so famished they don't have clean water to drink. F you. You don't you don't deserve you don't deserve any human real human being sympathy, let alone God's. And you you got yours coming. Black people, you need to do better. You need to stop showing that you're the niggers that they call you. You idiots. Stupid. Can't think for themselves. Can't make up their own minds. And just trash. They think you're trash for a reason. That's why we see all these shows like that bullshit. We got this show talking about the side bitches of North Carolina. Or side chicks. Whatever. That is unex... That, 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 that's... Bullshit. You got a freaking coon that can make a joke. You got a freaking white man, Jewish man, making jokes, calling himself a house nigga. Now you really 
have really made yourselves the butt of all jokes when you when you have a white man who's so emboldened to call himself on national TV a white a, a house nigga. Really? That's how much the world doesn't respect you. And you don't understand that? You don't understand that. A lot of you in the sunken place, we need to do better. That's all I'm saying. We need to do better. So much better than we're doing now. Because God, Lee, you guys are looking so sorry. I'm not because I know. I know this shit is going on. I'm not uplifting any of this. This is bullshit and I'm seeing it for what it was. If I was another person outside looking in, I wouldn't respect y'all either. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't respect y'all. I would look at y'all like lowly, like they don't even value themselves. Look how they degrade their own people. They degrade their own women. They degrade their own men, their own children. Man, we can kill them. We can kill them and, and, and they'll forgive us. They'll forgive us. They won't march. Oh, we'll keep, uh, we'll march and shit, but we won't take our money out from your establishments. We won't stop spending money with you on stupid shit like Jordans and all this, the cars, Lamborghinis, Gucci, European shit. Gucci, why, when's the last time you bought FUBU? When's the last time you bought Sean John? Come, let's be honest. You're supporting another man's system, but you're not supporting your own. And best believe. Once you start doing that, I bet you a lot of things will start changing. Take your money out. That's what make, made the civil rights uh, boycott, the bus Montgomery bu boycott successful. They weren't riding on those goddamn buses because they knew. They knew they had to draw out and deplete the system. That's the only way they were going to get these people who love money to stop doing the shit that they were doing. You need to do better. When I see shit like this, and it's globally. Ryanair. I used I went on Ryanair uh back in uh 2015 with my ex. I was uh, uh we were going to Europe. We were going from Paris uh from France to Italy on Ryanair. And there are a bunch of fucking con arts. One thing I never heard of this, but apparently if you miss your flight, you have to book an entire new flight and pay a fee or you got to pay a fee. I, we didn't have to book a full flight, but a fee. That's some bullshit. They should have just got us another flight and then ser send us on our merry way, but instead they charged that shit. But my point is, there was a story about a black man who was getting